Covia Hayes, broadcasting from WPFE. And I am Jamal Gillette. We are from Miss Small and Miss Holland's third, third grade, grade class. class. Thanks for tuning in. It's a new day, Tigers. Let's take a moment to reflect on positive thoughts. Please stand and raise your right hand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The IB Profile Trait of the Month is Reflective. Reflective students think about the what, why, and how of their learning. They're always looking for ways to improve themselves and their learning experiences. Do you know what it means to be reflective? We're having a poster contest. Show what it means to be reflective. All posters are due October 16th to Miss Gay. Good luck, Tigers! Once upon a time, there was a girl named Matilda. Hi, Dad. Get in the car, Melinda. Matilda! Whatever. Who was extraordinary in every way. Pretty soon you'll be able to do any multiplication, whether it's 2 times 7, 14, or 13 times 379. 4,927. Wow. She can multiply large sums in her head. So can a calculator. But in a world where grown-ups make all the rules. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big and you're small. I'm right. And you're wrong. In a school where the principal... In this school, I am God! ...has no principles. Yes, Miss Sir, the Trunchbulls used to be in the Olympics. Ah! Shot put. <gasps> javelin. Ah! Hammer throw. Ah! She will discover... Somebody's got to teach her a lesson. Deep inside herself... You should believe in whatever power you think you have inside of you. A secret weapon... <laughs> ...to even the odds. No more, Miss Nice Girl. Hey, give things. Have a carrot. <laughs> nah, you eat it. Now... Uh-oh. You will not leave this platform until you have consumed the entire confection! She gives power... You can do it, Brucey! <laughs> ...to the powerless. <laughs> Help to the helpless. Harry, <laughs> take your hat off. I can't take get it off. And disaster... <laughs> <laughs> ...to those who deserve it. From the author of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> and the unique vision. What did you do to your hair? Of director Danny DeVito comes the story of every kid's right to stand tall, no matter how small. <laughs> Matilda. Hey, third graders, do you love to read? If so, then Lunch Bunch is where you want to be. The Matilda Book Club is an, ex an exclusive meeting. It's only for third graders. If you want to read the book and watch the movie, Matilda, then sign up today for Lunch Bunch. Matilda Book Club will meet every Tuesday and Thursday during third grade lunch. There are 10 spaces, so come. Harry to the immediate center, bad. On Tuesday, October 16th, we're having turkey chili and cheese nachos, mac and cheese, cold turkey breast and cheese sandwich, seasoned green beans, and dinner roll. Tigers, have you heard about the Jacket to Jacket reading program? For the whole month of October, record every book you read and the number of pages. Don't forget to have your teacher or parent sign off on it. Just for reading, you can win tickets to the Georgia Tech game and all kinds of different prizes. Guess what, Tigers? The class with the highest number of pages read will get to make slime in the media center. That's right. There will be one K-2 through class winner and one 3-5 through class winner. Whose class will it be? See Miss Austin if you need more books, book logs. Good luck. 
Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back. Miss Gunna missed you so much last week when you were out for fall break, but I hope that you got some rest. I hope you spent some time with your family, but more importantly, I hope that you read some books and you're ready to earn some more AR points. This week, we have a lot going on. First, report cards go home on Wednesday. I hope you've been studying, studying, studying. I can't wait to see those A's and B's. That's the Peyton way. Thursday, we have our first Mr. and Miss Peyton Forrest pageant. That's Thursday evening. For all the boys and girls who are involved in this pageant, good luck. Miss Gunner's going to be there. I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. And Friday, movie night. We're getting ready for fall and Halloween. Make sure if you want to stay for movie night that you get your permission slip form signed and that you bring your money in. It's going to be a lot of great movies. The kindergarten team is sponsoring it. That's Friday, movie night. All right, boys and girls, you know my favorite part. Books. All right. Mr. Cooper is super. Guess what? Mr. Granite is the teacher, and he's leaving. He teaches third grade. Mr. Cooper comes in. He's the new third grade teacher. And you know what he always is doing? He's always dressing up as a superhero. The kids don't know if they're excited about it or if they're embarrassed about it. They don't know what to think about Mr. Cooper. Can you come and get this book and tell me, does he end up being a good teacher or is he like a weirdo or something? And the other one is all of the above. Look at that. This is about a school who's by Willie's Barbecue. There's um, all kind of stuff, and the school sits at the end of a cul-de-sac. It sits at the end of a dead end, and all kind of stuff happens at this school. It's based on a true story about some students who grow up at this school. They live in the community, and good things happen, bad things happen. There's friendships. There's breakups. Come and get all of the above. If you're in fourth and a fifth grade, come and get this book and tell me if you really like it. Boys and girls, remember the Forest Five. I hope that all of your teachers, I'm sure they are, are asking you to stand up when you answer a question and you answer or in complete sentence. That's one of our forest five. So every time the teacher asks you a question, when you respond, you're to pop up and speak up and out and answer in complete sentences. I can't wait to see that. Don't forget, be kind to each other. Make sure your school is nice and clean. I see writing on the wall. We have all this beautiful artwork. I see people peel and paint. Boys and girls, don't you like a beautiful school? Take care of your school. And when you see your friends throwing paper down, tearing something, you say, the first five says, keep the school nice and clean. Do you wear your uniforms? Did you get a popsicle last week for wearing your uniform all of September? Well, this is October now. Come to school every single day with your uniforms on. And you know if you come to school every day at the end of October, you'll be getting a what, boys and girls? A golden ticket. A golden ticket every single day. I want to see your face in the place. Y'all like how I rhyme, boys and girls? Well, I love you. Let's make it a great day the Peyton way. Do it again, again.